Hey guys welcome back to Second Recap. Today I am going to recap a 1998 romance drama movie named The Second Wife. So let's begin. Anna a single mother of a little young girl Senting remarries an older man Fosco with a teenage son Livio. During the marriage ceremony one of the community's aunts Fernanda offers to keep Senting with her. While Anna and Fosco go on their honeymoon in Paris during the party all the community members comment on the marriage. While some comment that the wedding will wear Fosco out some think it's the right choice. Olivio on the other hand wears black glasses that conceal all of his expression. When it's time for pictures Fosco asks Livio to remove his glasses, and comments to Anna that it's always apparent when Livio isn't happy. After the official wedding ceremony all the guests leave the ceremony. In the newest couple Anna and Fosco go home to prepare for their honeymoon. That night as they pack their loads one of Fosco's friends calls him to check an antique. He follows his friend to check it and they tell him the truck is empty. So he enters to confirm while at home Livio enters the house thinking his stepmother is out. He sees her and he is shocked she talks to him with a radiant smile on her face, and asks him what he wants as a gift from Paris. Meanwhile Fosco enters the truck his friend informs him the police are coming, so they all escape and hide until the police leaves. He returns late in the night makes out with Anna, and tells her they will go on their honeymoon the following day. The next day as planned they both leave for their honeymoon leaving Sentine behind in Livio they return a few days after, and Sentine hugs her mother Anna goes to Sentine and Fernanda she gives Fernanda the gift she brought back for her from Paris, and asks about the well-being of her little girl Fernanda asks her what she views about Fosco, and she tells her he is weird to con for her she tells her all men are weird too. Fosco goes to meet Livio he gives him a gift that seems like a pencil with a nude woman drawn on it. Olivio takes this pencil to his naive friends and they talk about how it is to have intercourse with a woman. Anna gets closer to other community members as they all talk and gist about how Paris is in all her experience in Paris. While they talk they overhear Fosco insulting Livio for not packing the truck correctly. He tells him he has to learn how to defend himself and not be a useless person like his uncle, as he can't carter for two different useless people as they leave for home. Anna tries to tell Fosco that the way he speaks to Livio isn't good and he can talk to him in a much more friendly manner. Fosco insists Olivio is used to it and he is sure Olivio isn't as burdened as Anna is making it seem. The next day Fosco travels with his truck and tells his family he will be back in three days. On the first day away Livio goes to his uncle's place his uncle asks him if the marriage has changed his father for the better. He replies affirmatively but, still says Fosco can't be changed entirely he returns home that evening after eating at his uncle's place. So when Anna asks him to eat the dinner she prepared he tells her he has eaten and she warns him to tell her. Such before she cooks that evening she didn't find her child in her room. She checks Livio's room and finds Sentine beside Livio who is just on panties concerned she asks Sentine to go to bed immediately. But the girl refuses she says Livio is reading a story to her, and she wants to listen till it finishes, and asks her mother to join them. Reluctantly Anna joins them. Fosco arrives from his trip the morning of his scheduled arrival. He plays with Sentine while Anna engages Livio in a conversation about the romantic books. She reads she tells him the book may not be practical but it's romantic Fosco arrives with Sentine, and mentions eating ass in front of this young girl, which angers Anna they settle it and watch a sport after which Fosco and his friends go grave hunting. And Fosco finds a gold statue he refuses to give his friends. And shockingly he hears some little kids asking him to show them the statue. He returns home angrily to ask Anna if she is the one that told everyone about the statue. Anna suggests the kids probably heard it when she was telling Fernanda. Fosco gets angry but Livio defends Anna saying grave hunting is a usual thing in their society and almost everyone knows about ghost hunting. Their dinner table gets divided and Livio walks out while Sentine goes to play Firefly. Anna and Fosco make out Fosco tells her he hasn't figured her out yet, but he will ensure he does the following day Livio and his friends go to the waterside. As usual they strip naked and swim in the water while a young lady who has always checked them out, watches them and touches herself. That night due to the heat Livio says on the tree and Anna walks there to continue her book. He asks her to join him on the tree but she refuses she sits down and they engage in a conversation, where Livio asks asks her if she sees him as a friend or family member. She replies that she sees him as Fosco's child he asks if he's like her brother, but she insists she hasn't spoken to her brother in years. He compares himself to a cousin and she tells him she once had a cousin Antonio, who was much older than her but she liked him. She would always write stories about Antonio in her secondary school's composition, but Antonio never noticed her till he relocated to Australia he laughs at her, that she has a crush on her cousin. The following day everyone in the community play Centine also plays with 
with Livio. Anna carries Sentine away and on their way inside Sentine tells Anna she will marry Livio, where she grows old. Anna and Sentine joke about this issue, and Sentine keep insisting she will ask Livio to kidnap her and they will get married. They both hear a noise downstairs, and as they attend to the visitor they find out Fosco has been arrested for the gold statue. She visits him with Fosco immediately. He tells her not to get herself worked up and insists he will be fine. All he has to do is to lie to the police that he didn't take the statue from the graveyard. Olivio asks if they should ask his uncle for help, but he refuses the help while back home. Anna tries to meet with the politician in her community to beg them to interfere but they insist they can't. She goes to revisit Fosco and she sees he is injured. She is scared and sad but Fosco screams at her. He tells her if she knows she will remain happy then she shouldn't revisit him. She is meant to help him with smiles and dressed nicely so he can imagine her at night. She returns home sad but finds Fernanda celebrating Livio's birthday. She gets angry that they could celebrate a birthday when her husband is in prison. But Fernanda tells her their culture doesn't allow them to cry and be sad unlike her. A Sicilian she goes to her room and Livio comes to apologize but she sends him off. After the party she cleans up with Livio that night and Livio's uncle arrives he says he can't sleep. And he wants to visit Livio's late mother's grave. The next day Olivio meets with his aunt who tells him his uncle confesses that he was the one that reported Fosco. He returns home and sees Anna as a male visitor. Anna tells him about the visitor Red came to tell her. They had found someone to help Fosco. Olivio gets angry about her visitor and throws his bottled drink away. She tries to pet him to know what's wrong with him. The following day during a community party he tells her something is in his eyes. She goes nearer to help him remove it. He kisses her neck and he kisses her. And she returns the gesture until she gets gets her control back. She sends him away and returns to the party. He comes to meet her again while she is picking up her clothes. He asks them to talk about it, but she insists there is nothing to talk about he tries to touch her. But she pushes him off that midnight he comes knocking at her door with only panties she is also attracted to him. So she holds her daughter and touches herself. The next day she pushes him out of her door and tells him not to try it again. That day Olivio turns her daughter against her. She goes to him at night and tells him he will be leaving Fernanda's home. The next day and he mustn't return till his father is back. He tells her she is in love with him but she slaps him angrily he goes out drinking with his friends and returns drunk and injured she tries to care for his wounds. But he refuses he says he is insane like his uncle and he will go and stay with his uncle. Eventually she gives in to his advances, and they have hormone sandwich. Anna visits Fosco at the prison the next day. Fosco also sheds tears beside her. She returns home and continues her relationship with Livio. As they kiss and play in the sitting room, they discover a neighbor the girl, who has also touched herself while looking at Livio. Stella is looking at them Olivio confronts Stella, but decides that even if Stella tells anyone what she has seen no, one will believe her. Anna can't accept the guilt of what she has done so she informs Fernanda about it. In the long run Fosco is released from prison, and the community organize a welcome back party. Fosco goes to the sea during the party where he meets Stella, who informs him of what happened. After the party he tells Livio they have to forgive each other, if not they won't be able to leave in peace. Before retiring to bed that night Olivia and Anna share final suspicious glances. She returns to the room and Fosco touches her for intercourse. He satisfies himself on top of her with a smiling face, while Anna stays under him in tears. At the end of the movie, Livio gets married and the family take their family photograph, and the movie ends here.